You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. Ralph Rangnick is one of the fathers of modern German football. His high-pressing vertical game is ubiquitous and those he's influenced are in positions of power at clubs across the continent. And now, of course, Rangnick has arrived at Manchester United as the interim head coach, with a two-year consultancy brief which will begin in the summer. So, who is Ralph Rangnick? Well, he wasn't much of a midfielder. Released at the age of 25 by Ulm 1846, he would begin his coaching career as player-manager of provincial side FC Victoria Bagnang in 1983. It's where a chance encounter became a formative experience. A friendly against Dinamo Kiev, then coached by the legendary Valery Lobanovsky, would be a light bulb moment, with Ranić the player exposed to a stifling press, intensity without the ball and zonal marking. I felt constantly under pressure for the entire 90 minutes, he recalled in Rafa Honigstein's Das Reboot. It was the first time I sensed this is football of a very different kind. The young Rangnick would make an annual pilgrimage to watch Lobanovsky's Kiev train, exposing himself to ideas which were well beyond the coaching syllabus of the German Football Federation of the 1980s, where man-marking systems were gospel. Another influence was Arrigo Sacchi. Sacchi set his hugely successful AC Milan teams out in a back four at a time when German football was still wedded to the sweeper system. These were the tenets of Rangnick's footballing belief system and it also made him something of a heretic. And he faced other challenges. Despite coaching Stuttgart's under-21s to a youth championship in 1991, he lacked the profile and experience for a more senior role, and he would leave the club in 1994, becoming the head coach of third-tier Reutlingen the year after. 18 months wouldn't quite produce a promotion, but it would earn Rangnick the manager's job back at former club Ulm who he would take from the regional Liga South to the Bundesliga by the end of his second full season. The first time the club had reached the top flight in its history. Rangnick was achieving success with unfashionable clubs, unknown players and no real money. With that came profile and an appearance on German television's early precursor to modern day football programming, ZDF's Sports Studio. Tactical discussion was unheard of, and Rangnick became its face, and among those who felt attacked by his new methods or envious of his status, earned the mocking nickname, The Professor. Culture clashes would be a feature of his managerial career. He would be appointed head coach back at Stuttgart in 1999, but would last just two years before being sacked. In 2001, he would drop down into the Zweite Bundesliga to win promotion with Hanover, but would lose his job in 2004. And in 2005, he finished as Bundesliga runner-up with Schalke, before deteriorating results the following year and strained internal relations would see him sacked again after barely a year. Rangnick was and remains a workaholic perfectionist, whose vision for football extended beyond the pitch and who desired a very broad and unusual influence. It often created tension, but it's also what informed the second act of his career. In 2006, he became head coach at Hoffenheim, an upstart club from a village with a tiny population, but with the financial patronage of billionaire Dietmar Hopp. The club was in the third tier of German football and, in Rangnick's words, a blank sheet of paper. It afforded a level of influence to which his personality was suited. Rangnick believed in employing specialised support staff like analysts and psychologists, and also in aligning recruitment strategy to suit his form of the game. He wanted football to be quick, intense and purposeful, and that required young, pliable players, preferably under 23. By 2008, after two years, Rangnick and Hoffenheim were in the Bundesliga and making a name for themselves. They humbled Borussia Dortmund 4-1 in 2008 and would finish the season a respectable seventh. That's the kind of football we want to play one day, remarked opposing manager Jurgen Klopp after the defeat. His time at Hoffenheim would end in acrimony and resignation after five years. But he'd built a club and would get the chance to do it again. After six months at Schalke, during which he reached a Champions League semi-final and a German Super Cup win, he would reappear in June 2012 as the director of football for RB Leipzig and RB Salzburg. It's that body of work which now best defines Rangnick's standing. Leipzig's journey from the fourth tier of German football to the Bundesliga characterises a very literal form of success. 
But the identity of the football brand that's been developed across the teams under the RB umbrella is the culmination of his ideas. The specialised coaches, the coordinated scouting and the swarming press and vertical football. Rangnick may have left Red Bull in 2020, but his ideas are now just part of the organisation's DNA. His legacy continues to be developed and sustained by his disciples. Of course, the coaches he's influenced, identified or nurtured, Jurgen Klopp, Julian Nagelsmann and Thomas Tuchel are the stars, but there's also an entire generation of less known coaches, analysts and support staff who share Rangnick's technical philosophies and who would likely be niche outsiders were it not for him. It is no exaggeration to call him one of the most influential figures in modern football's history. Bye, Holla! To avoid disappointment because of delivery times. Yes, that's right. Use the offer code TFOBF to get £10 off when you spend 60 And buy it now to avoid holiday disappointment at shop.tifofootball.com. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.